Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in WWA 2K24. So we're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So, I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off, and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for an example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people <laughs> are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that. And you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software. And also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, for texture quality, you have two options. Honestly, if you have 4 gig of VRAM on your card or more, just go with I. And if you have 4 gig and less, just go and then standard. So if you have like 2 or 3 gig of VRAM on your GPU, go with standard. For window mode, I recommend to go with no, you will play full screen borderless. V-Sync, honestly, not a huge impact in this game. The game is like at 60, so uh, you can deactivate it to have less input lag, but you will not necessarily see the difference. If you have tiering, just activate your V-Sync or use an another technology like G-Sync or FreeSync. Uh, it will help for that. Action camera FPS, go with 60. And after that, we're going for the graphic parameter. The first one is shadow. This one is pretty huge. When you deactivate the shadow versus ultra, you can expect 20% boost in your FPS. It's pretty huge. So honestly, if you don't really care about Shadow, I know the game looks a little bit flat without it, but you will have a big boost in your FPS. And if you want it and you want to uh, limit the impact on your FPS, go with something like on and medium. After that, shader quality, honestly, Normally, you can run medium. I didn't see a big difference between low and medium, like 1% difference. But also, you can test high. It really depends on the type of PC that you have. If you're struggling with your uh, 60, maybe test medium. But honestly, this one, it's not a huge deal. It's like 2 to 3% difference between medium and high. Anti-aliasing, you have three different options. TAA for me is really too blurry. So that's why I recommend FXAA. You will have 3% boost in your FPS and the game is a lot clearer. And also you can deactivate it, but you will see a lot of it aliasing in the game. Reflection is a bit weird. Uh, you have a couple of options. So when you deactivate it, you not necessarily see a big improvement in your FPS when your image is static. But when you have a lot of action and a lot of reflection is going on, if you're getting some random drop like 8-12% in your FPS, it's probably because of the reflection. So I recommend to deactivate it for a, a, a game like uh, WWE. But honestly, low is not that bad. It's like 2% difference. So you can also run low if you want that. Dynamic upscaling, this one is pretty bad, honestly. You don't have FSR2, FSR3, you don't have DLSS. You just have FSR1. I don't recommend you using it. The game looks very, uh, like, blurry and trash with it. So I recommend to just go with linear. And also, even with FSR1, you don't necessarily get a big improvement in your FPS. So just go with linear. After that, deactivate depth of field. You will have a nice 2% boost in your FPS. Motion blur deactivated also. You don't want this effect. Uh, no effect on your FPS. And after that, you have a slider for your audience density. So it's 0 to uh, 100. If you have like a pretty bad PC and you're struggling with your FPS, start at 30. If you have a decent computer, start at 60. And if you have a good computer, it's running well, you can definitely test 100. It's a question of preference. You know, you're, you're just wrestling. So it's not that bad if your audience density is low. So just test it out. The last one is multi-superstar performance mode. If you're struggling with the multi-superstar, 
Uh, you have a special comment that you can do over there. Just activate it and it will help with your performance. So that's pretty much it for my WWE 2K24 guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.